to get all this data here. Look at all that data. That's a lot of data. That's all from Twitter without using its official API. Why would you not want to use the official API? The official API limits you to 3,200 tweets. You need to sign up. This is anonymous. Twitter doesn't know you're doing it. It's basically like super duper ultra mega web scraping. We are using a Python tool called Twint to do this. Let's go. To install Twint, normally you just type pip install Twint, right? Fine. Using the Python package manager to install Twint. However, Twint, um, the official repo has not been maintained for about a year. So there's a few little bugs and someone's forked it. So you have to install from their repo. Command to install it in the description. So go ahead and run that. So once we've installed it, we can just, you know, you type Twint. So it's just a command line tool. So you don't actually need to run Python to use it. It does have a Python library, which is very good and a topic for another video. Okay, you can run Twint dust help and see all lots of everything. You can do loads of stuff with it. You can do even more with the Python library, which I will show you in another video. But for now, let's just do some basic stuff. Okay, let's scrape all of my tweets. Twint, you run twint dash u for user and then you type the user in. That's my Twitter account. It goes and finds every single tweet I've made. Look at that. Not many, but a few. Very cool. Okay, we can also scrape for certain words in the user's tweet. So if we wanted to find all my tweets about, let's say, Django, we could just do twint dash u mark underscore McNally underscore je dash s for search and then uh, Django like that. And so this should find my Django tweets. Doesn't work. Can't find Twitter account with name. I spelt my own name wrong. Okay, so this, this will work. There we go. Okay, so I've made a few tweets about Django. I'm going to make this bigger for you now. No no complaining. Let, let's start to search for an interesting user. So if we do twin dash u Elon Musk, we could see if he's tweeted about certain topics. I wonder if he's tweeted about Gentoo. Hmm. Elon has not tweeted about Gentoo. Has he tweeted about Linux before? Yes, there's Elon's tweets that he's ever done with the word Linux in. Starship Dragon, spaceship, sorry, capsule Dragon is written in C++ on Linux. So this is good. This is all the way back to 2012. What has he tweeted a lot about? Let, let's do Tesla here. So you see now he's finding every tweet with the word Tesla in it that he's tweeted about. It's going all the way, this is only in 2021, so it's gonna go all the way back to when he started his Twitter account. We can also do all of Elon Musk's tweets. This will take ages though because of how Twint works. So it took me five minutes and five seconds to scrape all of Elon Musk's tweets. If I do dash O, out file, and then Elon.txt, when I press enter here, every single tweet that we scrape will be saved into Elon.txt file. So I've done this already. This is all of Elon's tweets here. You can see they go back to 2010. Um, there is 16,016582 because every tweet is on a line. And there we are. There's lots and lots here and you can do loads of interesting analytics here. So, you know, if we search Gen2, there's none. Linux, there's those ones that we found earlier. See the first one. Yep, Dragon Code, there we are. We can also search all of Twitter for a term. So if we do twint s, let's search for Gen2 and then let's put it into gen2results.txt like that. So this is now searching Twitter for wherever the word Gentoo is. So it's also showing users with the name Gentoo. Okay, maybe some of these results are interesting, but remember it's the whole of Twitter and these are all, these are all this week at least. So then we can look in that Gentoo result.txt file and then we have all these tweets that we can do analysis on. So if we do Linux, we can see that this guy is using Arch Linux and Gentoo for years. He's using both. He is cool. So yeah, we're storing all those tweets into a text file, right? We can also store them into uh, JSON files, CSVs, databases. You can write them directly to an SQLite database. Uh, you can store them in Elasticsearch, which is really cool. Uh, I actually want to make a web tool out of this. Uh, maybe that'll be another video or even a live stream where I store them in Elasticsearch and then you can live search the tweets online. So you say, I want to search all of Elon Musk's tweets. You press enter, you wait five minutes, and then you can search them all in a nice elastic search GUI. So let's look at some more filters. So we can filter for coordinates, right? So if I get the if I get the Jersey coordinates here, let's, let's just search for these here, like this. Right, this is Jersey, where I live. Uh, and we can search for all tweets originating from this exact coordinate here. That probably would pull zero results. So we can put a, um, a range in like this. So any tweet around that coordinate that is 10 kilometers. And then if I quote it properly, uh, so tweet dash G, geo, these are all tweets from Jersey. Um, you know, not many, but that's, that's all of, um, that's all of today's tweets from Jersey. Boris, get Brexit done. <laughs> that's what this man is saying here. So I did this earlier and got some more tweets as well. Uh, as you can see, Jersey, oh dear. It's all just a bunch of boomers, really. Whatever, those, those are how you get tweets of an area, okay? You can do it around coordinates. And you can also do a city name as well. You do twint dash dash near and then London and you'll get all the tweets near London. 
There we are. So now we're getting London tweets. There'll be a lot of London tweets here. So I've done this before. I actually saved these into a JSON format. So if we look at them uh, with JQ, this is what we catted before. So you see it's sort of saved nicer so we can do analysis on them easier using JSON tools. Although saying that, I haven't done that. I've done this. So we can find every single hashtag from here. So we could use JQ to, you know, extract the, the, the hashtag field. And that'd be easier. Um, but I've not done that. I, I've just sort of, I, I've had an incident and just used grep to get all the hashtags. There we are, all the hashtags. Cool. Uh, how many are there? There are 17,000 hashtags. That's quite a lot of hashtags. Uh, not very interesting just seeing every single one of them. So we can use this command line here. So we do the same thing, get all the hashtags. We sort them. So we make them all alphabetical. Then we unique them with a count and then we sort them again by number. There we are. So the most used hashtag around London is that and NFTs. Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard, very topical. Met Gala, again, very topical. Let's see how many people did a Wordle. There we are. No, Wordle's not very popular anymore in London, apparently. But this only works if you've got your like little city set to London, which most Londoners probably won't have. So there is some downsides to using the, the geos and the nears. For example, I obviously don't have my location set on Twitter. So if I use a geo coordinate, uh, it won't work for me. So you won't find my tweets if you search around Jersey. Little, little, little nugget of information for you there. So yeah, this information, people will actually pay for this. You know, we've done analytics on all of London's Twitter users. People will pay for that. It's useful information to some people that, you know, Wordle is now at 14, but if you did it six months ago, it'd be 150 or whatever. Very interesting, maybe, to some people would want that data. There's loads of other filters that you can do with, with Twin. But so let's just look at one of the other filters we can do. So we can search for only verified users. That's right, the blue check mark. You know, that means that this person is a thought leader and we should listen to them. You know, don't, you don't think for your opinion yourself. You find out what blue check marks on Twitter say, so we can look for that. So we can go... What are people's opinions on Linux? Uh, only verified users. Verified like this. This will only show us blue checks. So, let's stop it. And all these users will be verified. We've got lots of verified users here. And you can do this for lots of, uh, for any topic you want, of course. We can also scrape a user's uh, followers uh, and people that follow them if we wanted. So if you wanted to build up a profile for say a big company, we could do that. And yeah, you can do many more, but this is just a brief overview of the tool Twin. I will in the future do a video or a stream or a project of me using the Python library with Twin to actually build a useful tool out of it. Um, anyway, that, that's the video. Link to download Twin properly is in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Hit the bell. Please.